standard and custom objects. In this lecture, we're going to learn about Parat standard and custom objects. But first, let's start with Salesforce. When you purchase Salesforce org, it comes with a set of standard Salesforce objects. The good analogy would be buying an iPhone. When you buy an iPhone, it comes with a preset standard apps that are available for you to use. If you want to have additional apps, you have to go to App Store and install them for yourself on your device. Similarly with Salesforce, after business purchases Salesforce CRM, they will work with the implementation partner to further customize it. A part of it will also be developing custom objects and required business logic so they can actually fulfill and support the business requirements. A part of it will also be developing custom objects and required business logic so they can fully support their business requirements. Organizations create custom objects in Salesforce to store specific information related to their business or industry. If there is a need in business to use custom objects data for marketing purposes, you can then create these custom objects in Pardot to enable your marketing team to use this information when creating dynamic lists, automation rules, and or segmentation rules. There's also a workaround that will allow you to use custom objects data in email templates, but we're going to discuss this a little bit later down the line. In the beginning, you might get confused by the fact that many Salesforce standard objects will be Pardot custom objects, as they are not part of the default Pardot objects that Pardot integrates with. Therefore, Pardot custom objects are any Salesforce standard object that does not natively connect for example, cases, contracts, or products, or any Salesforce custom object, for example, property, job posting, or donation. Some things you will need to consider. Custom objects are read-only in Pardot. By default, Pardot accounts with advanced and premium edition can map to up to four custom objects. For Pardot accounts with plus edition, the feature is available at an additional cost and you will need to contact your account executive directly to get a quote. You can only create a custom object if at least one lookup field is linking the custom object to the lead, contact or account objects. Custom objects data can be used as a criteria when creating dynamic lists, automation rules and segmentation rules. By default, Custom user roles don't grant access to custom objects. Manually grant custom object permissions for each custom role if you need to. Pardot custom objects sync with Salesforce in a background every 10 minutes. And if you want to use custom objects field in your email, you can create a formula field on the lead or contact object that pulls data from the custom objects desired field, then map that field back to Pardot as a prospect custom field and insert that field in your email. Just note that changes to the formula field do not trigger sync behavior in Pardot and Salesforce. So if you decide to use this method, please ensure that Pardot data is up to date before you're actually sending your email to your prospects. And now, Let's explore the real-world example for this workaround. For instance, if you are creating a job posting custom object in your Salesforce, you can potentially use Pardot to send emails to applicants or hiring managers based on their activity. If you would want to use a merge field in your email, you must create a custom field on a lead or a contact object that pulls in data from that custom object. The main reason there is no out-of-the-box support for this in Pardot because custom objects can be in a master relationship with the related list or contact. That means you can have many job posting records linked to just one contact. Pardot would obviously be unable to know and determine which job posting you are actually trying to reference in your merge field. This is also similar to how opportunities are related to accounts. 
one account can have multiple opportunities linked to. How to create a custom object? To create custom Pardot object in Salesforce, navigate to Pardot app, Pardot settings, objects and field configuration, and click on plus custom object. Select a CRM object. If necessary, edit the display name, plural display name, and display field. When finished, click create custom object. After you have created a custom object, you can click on the gear icon and configure fields. To select all custom fields you want to appear when reviewing related custom object records on the prospect record. Where I can see if prospect has any related custom object records. You can view related custom object records to prospects in Pardot by going directly to a prospect record and pressing on a related objects tab. How we can create automations with custom objects. You can use custom objects that are related to prospects in Pardot automation processes. To create automation rules in Pardot, navigate to Automations, Automation Rules, and click on Add Automation Rule. From the Match Type dropdown, select Prospect Custom Object. Define the criteria that matches prospects to the custom object. The first option is Related matches any prospects that are related to any instances of the selected custom object via the selected relation field. The second option, not related, matches any prospects that aren't related to any instances of selected custom object via selected relation field. And the third option is related with properties matches any related prospects with any properties you define. This is where you can select your specific fields. Further, add more rules and actions as needed. Make sure to plan and create all automations timely as it may take Pardot metadata up to four hours to refresh. Now let's explore some real world examples. Example number one. The first example will enable you to communicate with contacts that have unresolved cases in Salesforce. Any contact who has an open case with a status equals to new could receive a confirmation that their case is received and support team will look into it in the next 24 hours. Similarly, you could communicate with prospect automatically at any stage of their case, sharing with them case progress. Or you can even use prospects with open cases as a suppression list on all your emails so you don't bother customers with marketing emails when they're dealing with unresolved case. This would be a good approach from marketing perspective as you probably would not get any deals closed with prospects who are dealing with an issue with one of your services or product, right? Example number two. The next one we're going to look at is a nurture program list for Pardot course students. In this example, we're looking at any prospect who purchased basic access to Pardot course. This dynamic list can be used as a recipient list in an engagement studio program, informing students of a course details and promo announcements. Similarly, you could turn this in an automation rule and potentially match all prospects with the record type of student. You could also tag them, add them to the list or campaign, update their course completion status, or even send them an email. Example number three could be very useful for nonprofit organizations. You could create a dynamic list and display all contacts who made a one-time donation over 999 euros. So this dynamic list can be used as a recipient list in your engagement program, asking high-value one-time donors to set up a recurring donation. Example number four. Here, we will explore a use case for product renewal dynamic list. This use case can be very powerful and help you to impact your renewal opportunity close rate. Any prospect who needs to renew their annual contract with the business will be added to this list. In more detail, we are looking at a product custom object 
and we want to match the main contact and their product last contract sign date. So we can see all contacts that signed a contract at least 300 days ago. This dynamic list can be used as a recipient list in an Engagement Studio program to encourage existing customers to renew a product. What are some common errors you can get? The most common error system admins can run into is due to unrefreshed metadata. This will prevent Parat from accessing the custom object data. The first thing you can try to fix it is to navigate to your Parat settings and clicking on the gear icon next to the Salesforce connector. This will re-verify your connector. If that doesn't work, you can test if the sync is working in general by manually syncing the data on the individual prospect record. You can click the sync with CRM button on the prospect record. If data shows up, then it's just a matter of time for it to appear. It can take up to four hours for all metadata to refresh. Another issue might be if the custom objects you're trying to connect with isn't related to a prospect record. In Parat, you can have only custom objects that are directly tied to a lead or a contact record. But if that lead or contact do not have a lookup relationship to the custom object, Parat won't give you the option to create that custom object in the first place. Lastly, an issue that has been seen quite often is that the permissions has not been granted to the connector user in Pardot. So, as you might know, Pardot has a connector user which provides the lens into what Pardot can actually see from Salesforce. If a Pardot connector user don't have the minimum read access with that custom object, it won't be able to see and you won't be able to sync that custom object with Pardot. So happy custom objecting and syncing!